Hi guys, in this episode I'll be showing you how to um, time up um, a Beto 04, Beto 05, Beto 35, Beto 34, 2.3s, blah de blah de blah. Um, so basically I've got here a stripped down engine, it's an absolute crappy one really, um, but I stripped it down because a lot of people are asking what's the best way of timing up, so basically I'll show you now what tools you need to start with. Um, I'll try and get the detail into it, but this engine is quite really manky. Um, I've even got another timing chain off something else that I had lying around just because the um, the timing marks was rather grubby. Um, just bear me a second. Need to wipe my uh, screen. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, got oil all over the camera lens. Yeah, so wouldn't have helped really. I think I've actually got another hat on today, rather than a red snap on, snap off one. So yeah, so basically, here we go. So obviously it's the timing chain that come off it, and you can barely just about make out the um, chain, so scrap that. So basically, got one here, so obviously when you get a new timing chain, these yellow marks all will be lovely, <coughs> lovely jubbly to um, line up. So basically that's how it's going to be going on. So. <clears throat> One cam, two cam, and then crank. So basically, tools you're going to need for this job is a 27 mil socket or spanner. Preferably, obviously, you're going to have your um, engine stripped down like this um, already. But if not, obviously, you've got a load of Torx bolts all the way around for the timing cover, oil pump housing. They're um, a T40, Torx 40 bits, you want them. It can be pretty tight. You've got 27 mil on this. Um, yeah, so basically 27 on here, undo all your bolts, and then those parts on the timing casing, you can here, that lug there, and just behind here, and so on here, just little rubber mallet, just to uh, ease them off. Um, so basically then you'll find that obviously your balance chain, balance chain comes around there, bloody blah, tensioners here, another arm here, goes around blah, so... Two 10 mils here, two 10 mils across the top here, which takes the guide off the balance chain there. And obviously, once you get this off, the, the balance chain should slacken enough to pull the chain off. And so that's basically how roughly it is on there. So, basically, what you want to do is take all the spark plugs out. So, obviously, you can turn the bottom end over nicely. Um, what I tend to do is just screwdriver in there. Obviously, then going to bring your crank to TDC, so obviously the screwdriver should be fully up. Um, so basically this wood rough is right at the top, and then underneath the timing mark, which is there, you want that to be BDC, bottom dead centre. Um, obviously you'll have your, your chain guard off down there like that. So basically once there all lined up, that's your crank all lined up. And on the cams, you'll see, we get there, that that line there should line up with that line there. Don't worry if it's not bang on, because um, sometimes you'll find, depending on the chain you're putting in, there's a little bit more slack. So obviously, as long as they're pretty much bang on like that, yeah, you're pretty good. So obviously, that's your cams timed up. And then, if we look on these old rubbish, see that line there? So basically, that is your cam timer, and it's exactly the same. Doesn't matter about these uh, pulleys, because you can put an inlet exhaust, inlet exhaust, doesn't matter. So basically, when they do go on, well, well I'll show you the chain first. So basically, you get your chain, so that singular yellow marker, Drop it in through there, and then obviously, if you've got two people, it's really easy. But what I'll do, I'll just get this on there, and then I'll come back to you now, guys. Right, guys, so you can see now, obviously, if I had someone else holding the torch, I could actually show you while I was actually doing it. So, basically, the singular yellow um, chain. God, now my words are just gone out the window. Yeah, so you get what I mean. The chain marker there, the yellow one, has got to line up with that marker on 
the uh, sprocket. So obviously once you've done that, if you put this chain guard back on, that chain cannot come off now. So no worries about that. So next thing you want to do is put the guard on here, which I will be back to you now. So that's chain guard back on now, this one here, which obviously it goes up inside there. So just slot it up inside there. You want to put that 10 mil in, M6, on that one. Don't put that one in yet. Leave that one out. So basically, and the next step is getting these pulleys on, which is quite fiddly. Um, I'm going to have to lose the torch for a minute. But this is how I do it. So what I normally do is get your... Get... Where's it gone? These cam pulleys are disgusting. There we go. It's that cam pulley there. So what I normally do is get it on. Oh dear. My God. One-handed mechanic. Yay. Right. Let me see. You want to put it so that guide, that marker, lines up on that. Roll it around so you're keeping the tension. It all the way around. So put the exhaust one on first. Like I say, other people might do it differently, but this is how I do it. So that's on there. And obviously you've got your your 14 mil head sprocket bolt. So obviously you don't have to worry about tightening it up just yet. I'll just get it in there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, dear, dear. Right, so that's that one done. This one is a little bit more fiddly to get it lined up with least slack in the middle as possible. And what I mean by that, so basically, sorry about the filming, guys. This is uh, very awkward on your own. I think, anyway, hang on. Let's have a look down in there. Push that chain guide over there. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, to be fair. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> there we go, first time. So, time and mark on this side, between the two yellows. Time like this side, on the yellow. And again, just to repeat, time and mark on the sprocket there, matches that one there. So basically, when you've got that in, we shall just put this one in. Do, 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 do. Damn music copyrights. God. Nice to have a bit of music right now. Right, so that's that. So basically, if you are going to be doing this, hopefully you'll be doing it the right way. So you'd have got in touch with Nick Chisholm, find him on Facebook. Great guy. Uh, he can supply all your rebuild. Pat's band's chain delete kits, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so basically, new uh, chain, new sprockets, new chain guides. Um, but if it does come in the kit, whether they've been revised, obviously nothing to do with Nick whatsoever. But please use your OEM original um, tensioner. As the new ones, I'm sure it's like BGA, after just a few miles, you'll notice that these teeth here, they wear... Come on, focus. Where are you going? Obviously, this, this won't be the case. But they wear just on the right-hand side. So they're not a true... This this pin that, that on the teeth there, it can't be truly putting its own pressure right the way across. So what they tend to do is fail after probably about 50 miles and, yeah, catastrophic damage. So basically, with these old ones, obviously... You wouldn't want to put this one straight on, but you want to make sure that your oil way, so obviously these are oil fed there, is nice and clean. So give it a good thorough clean. So basically, to reset it, push that in, that little pin. Yes, very awkward. Oh, there we go. That's reset now. So obviously, make sure you've got a nice new washer on there. This is only for illustrational purposes. Okay, so I've just wound that in now, and what you'll notice now, the slack has gone from here, but not quite from here. And this is where 
the spring that goes into it, into the tensioner comes into play. Obviously not focusing very well, dude. Just try and focus it. No. But anyway, inside there is actually a nylon. Yeah, sorry. So what you'll find there's a plastic nylon uh, guide in the middle. I want to make sure that's not broke. Definitely needs to get a new camera though. Phone cameras are poo. Yeah, so what you want to do is grab the little 12 mil head. This make sure that o-ring again on the outside it's very oh no. yeah this is where ah, there we go there we go that o-ring there make sure that's nice so basically you wanna very awkward oh now she's completely out of focus there we go all right so insert that into that and then you want to put this in the hole, and I'm completely missing it. There we go, in the hole there. So push in, there's quite a bit, well, it's not a lot of resistance, but there is. So obviously, you've got to push it in. Yeah, this one's just fighting me every way. But anyway, yeah, so she's going now. So as you start winding this in, you'll start hearing it goes click, click, click. yet so 12 mil don't got a 12 mil there okay so this one didn't go click 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 but then again it doesn't surprise me with this engine so what you'll find is that that should have pushed the tension out ah, there's a little click there so basically you've still got all the slack up here what you'll find once it's together, if you turn her over, there we go, here's a click. So, we shall turn her over. Oh dear. And we go all the way around. Doesn't help that that chain is really no good. Oh. Nor is the bottom end to be fair, so. I'm gonna go all the way around till that little that little mark on the sprocket there is all the way. Oh it really doesn't sound nice this thing, but like I say it's all for demonstration purposes only. A bit more. There we go. So obviously once you start turning over, don't worry about the timing marks then. They're on the chain, the yellow markers, they're completely out of sync straight away. One revolution. So obviously once you've done that, you want to come back up here and make sure that that mark lines up there. This phone will not. There we go. So, come on phone, focus. Yeah, there we go, see? If it's like that, don't worry about it. You'll soon know if you're a tough out because this line will be a good eight mil, 10 mil further or beforehand. So once you've done all that, you're good to go. But don't worry about any slack like this because once the engine is running, that oil pressure, which I described in here, will actually put a bit more tension on that chain accordingly. So don't worry about that. So basically that covers the install of a new timing chain, how to time it up, how to check. Um, what I'm gonna do, I shall do another video on balance chain delete. So, I'm pretty sure I've got some oil back on that lens, so everything's probably gonna be a bit more blurry. So what I'll do guys, I'll get this one wrapped up, centered on to YouTube, that's it, the one here. And I'll do a balance chain delete one and uh, talk you through that one, guys. Thanks. Please subscribe, like, and blah, 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 blah. Comment below. You know what to do, guys. Cheers.